in the year 2000, a drug with a trade name Gleevec, or the pharmacologic name is Imatinib, was first used in a clinic. We were among the first institutions to be selected to test this drug, and to our amazement, uh, it caused uh, complete remissions, not only clinical remissions, but it got rid of this biologic or chromosomal abnormality and the molecular abnormality that had been known for years that characterized this disorder. And if you look at the drug worldwide, about 93% of patients uh, are living a normal lifespan who have been treated with this drug. And our success has been so remarkable with this drug that we're even stopping it in 40% of patients who have had a remission for at least three to five years. All things being equal, it's better not to be on a drug than on a drug. There are certain side effects with the, any of these drugs used in chronic myeloid leukemia or any drug that is used in the myeloproliferative neoplasms. Now this is very, very important because if the disease affects women of childbearing age, we don't want this drug to be taken by a woman uh, before conception because it can be associated with abnormalities of the child or the fetus. So the fact that you can discontinue the drug in selected patients, it's best to do so. Not always can we discontinue the drug forever because sometimes the disease does come back, but if that occurs, we can always restart the medications again. We're expert in these diseases, and I think that the compassionate care that is extended by uh, our cancer center makes this a very, very attractive place for patients with these illnesses to benefit from, where they will be treated with great compassion and a great deal of knowledge.